Andy. I was just commenting to Jay that uh, he ref the fight for Paul, and I refed uh, one of his last fights. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a circle of life. A circle of life. Volkman to Southpaw, keeping a low stance, picking with a jab and lead kick. Uh, that's been something that they do at the, the academy in uh, Minnesota. They like that lead leg kick. They like uh, the jab and the hooks. It's like Danny White's not doing too bad of uh, staying in the pocket with them and uh, not looks letting like Volkman back him up. Yeah, Danny looks like he's uh, really savvy. He's ready to go. He's got that right hand loaded. Yeah, he's ready to, ready to throw his hands, that's for sure. I'd really like to see Danny try and stay off. Oh, Ooh, got that go. takedown. Showing that wrestling experience. And you can tell this. Nice uh, Jacob putting him right up against the fence right away. And he is one strong individual. I haven't he grappled is. with him before. He is super strong. Yes, he is. For only 170 pounds. Yeah, he's got that mount. Um, one, 165. 165 now, yeah. Even for 165, he's got to be still a monster to deal with. Danny does a good, you know, a good job as far as grappling. I've grappled with him a lot. I would say his top game is a lot better than his uh, bottom, but still not bad off his back. In the half guard here, I like to throw that top leg over the top and get my underhook on that side. Doesn't look like Danny's got that in his arsenal as he's keeping the bottom leg hooked and crossed. You'll see some guys, though, try to use that knee across to do uh, almost like a knee shield. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I yeah he'll put his uh, uh, knee across the torso. Yeah. Allows you to, you know, push that hip away so you can't have uh, you can't have as much pressure. There he goes with it right now. They make a little bit of room. Knee shield. Get out. Volkman looks like he's got a nice choke. Yeah. Uh, maybe a, a little darse on the inside that we're not quite yeah. seeing. If he gets out of half guard, he can really make that uh, uncomfortable for Danny. Danny pulls his head out of that. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was going for, like, a, a Japanese necktie there or if it was a, a darse yeah. choke. Couldn't quite see. Yeah, he slipped it on without us even seeing. <laughs> You know, Danny's got the underhook. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see uh, with that shadowing going on. But, uh, yeah, it looks like Volkman's working for something, though. Um, and he keeps going for something. Um, we'll may maybe we'll see him uh, get that leg out and uh, pass that half guard all the way, or quarter guard, or whatever you like to call it. You can see him working a little bit, now he gets passed. There you go. He's trying to pass to the cage. Yeah. That gets difficult to oh, try and finish that arm. with your cage. Yeah, head and arm choke, he yeah. arm triangle on that side. Um, it's hard to finish with the cage in your way. you got to rotate. Uh, so got Quinn's catch, catch his catch can. He's throwing the hands in there. Oh, well, he was going to go for some nice V-locks at the arms and the head and arm yeah, position. That's a, that's a really great transition from yeah. uh, Volkman. Uh, Very good transitions. He's got Danny White's yeah. back now in the middle of the cage. Always flatten them out, and this is always a bad position. Uh, for position anybody. Bruce was talking about earlier. Yeah, needs to get his knees in and hit a switch real quick. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see if he's got the, the forearm under the chin, but if he does, uh, this is going to be uh, over very soon. Oh, looks like he lost it. He's riding down Danny's hips. This is a position Bruce was talking about earlier. This is where you like to stick tough guys. Leave them sprawled out. Chip, 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 chip. Danny doesn't seem too worried about his position. He's not fighting to get his hips off off the ground. I you can tell each one of those shots is actually he's getting underneath his armpit and connecting on those. You yeah, see yeah. Uh, his Danny's jaw move wiggle. every time. Yeah, his ears and his jaw wiggle. <laughs> I've heard Danny say a couple times that uh, MMA fighting is nothing when you've ridden bulls most of your life. So yeah. he uh, We've got quite the bull riding him right now. There you go. Volkman sticking yeah. the rear naked choke and the body triangle in. Squeeze the air out of him before you shut it off. Locked up on the outside. His arms are deep. Danny's fighting the hands. I think the end yeah, is going to you know, be yeah, near. So far, this has been all of Volkman all, all the way. All of Volkman. Um, I, I haven't seen Danny really uh, do anything offensive yet. Oh, yeah. looks like Jade, Jade Pergandy, the referee, ain't too concerned either. Yeah, I'd like to see him move a little bit more if he could on bottom but i'm guessing that there's quite a bit of pressure on top of his hips so how do you deal with that pressure is it just the drowning quick uh, six uh quicksand type of situation Please. yeah generally it seems the case i mean you're gonna have to really fight to get those knees back underneath your body 10 second tap we just heard if uh we might see a second round if mr volkman cannot put danny white away here in the next five four three two one that was a good good countdown right there. 
other than flatten them on, but he picked out them a lot. The southpaw Volkman pawing with his job. Southpaw means, if you're tuning in and uh, not familiar with boxing terms, his left hand is back and his yeah, right hand is forward. There go that's one thing the, you do not want to do on a good wrestler is go for anything above basically you know, your knee as far as a kick. When, uh, when you stand in that southpaw stance, anybody throws a kick at you, their leg is right in front of you for the taking. A lot of wrestlers like that southpaw stance yeah. for that reason. And, and that, that time it takes you to get your leg back to the ground and back in your stance, they close that distance fast. Jacob in a good position. Danny White looking like he's holding on to a choke that he doesn't need. Which set up Volkman for head and arm on the well, other side. Like he's getting his guard back, though. Yeah, if he can just keep his keep out of Danny oh, White's no, guard. Maybe not. With Danny White being on the bottom, Bruce, what do you like to do from half guard? Uh, we were talking about that earlier with the knee shield. Um, yeah, I, you know, me personally, I like to look for underhooks right away, um, both in you know sport grappling and, and also for MMA. You've got to get out from underneath him. Volkman doing a good job pressing his opponent up the cage. Now he has full mount, raining down the blows, beating them like eggs. He's going to peel the hands away, stick them up against the cage. If Danny White could get his feet towards the cage, maybe he could buck out a mount, but it looks like Volkman's going to keep his head against the cage. Yeah, a lot of this has just been Volkman controlling on top. Um, I haven't, I haven't, you know, and this might have been, a, you know, a big reason why uh, he got cut from the UFC is because he, he he wins, he wins fights, but uh, he's not a huge finisher. Not a huge finisher. What are his numbers on on finishes? Uh, do you have those okay. in front of you? Yes, it'll take me two seconds a little. Yeah. Well, he's just chipping away at uh, Mr. Danny White here. Full mount against the cage is Jacob Volkman, Volkman on top. One he's thing I'll, I'll say about this position, you'll see a lot of people just throw down punches. One thing I, I would like to see guys do is, is pin one arm or both arms if possible and then be able to uh, throw strikes that can't be answered. Do you, uh, you're talking about the um, Eurekum? to your midsection, rake his arms downward? No, um, actually go put your lat across his tricep and then go over his head so both arms are trapped around um, your lat basically and then you have one free hand to uh, punch him. Fantastic. Well, well, TJ was asking. Fantastic for you, maybe not fantastic <laughs> for the other guys. <laughs> Jacob Volkman has a 16-5 and five record, uh, seven wins by submission and nine wins by decision. He does win a lot of decisions. He likes to chip away, he is chipping away. He's got a nice bloody mess in that corner where he has Danny White. Danny, uh, Jacob holds on to the cage there a little bit. I like doing that. <laughs> You're not cheating, you ain't trying. A little frowned upon, but. We got a nice, beautiful, bloody mess that's here. Yeah, that's a lot of blood. I wonder where uh, Danny's cut. I'm assuming that's from Danny. Where isn't he cut? He's been eating elbows and punches in that corner for the past two minutes now. Jade Brigandi right on top of the action. And you, s you see this, he, uh, Danny pushes away on his, uh, on his belly and then actually kind of turns away. If, if you can hit a quick switch, then you might get better position, but otherwise you're just going to your belly, which is... Which is what he just did right now. Right, and that's almost the worst position. It saves you for getting punched in the face, but then you just get punched in the ear. Yeah, see, the one, the one thing I used to like to do is I would, if they mounted me, I'd, Jay, I'd roll taking over. taking a little close look then, and stepping in. Oh, well, yeah, it's over. Your winner. Referee stoppage, it looks like. A very bloody Jacob well, Volkman. I was saying the one thing I like to do in that position, uh, you know, I get, I get mounted, I roll over, give up my back. When I get to my back, I re-roll so that they're on their back, but they still have my back, and I feel like I can escape that a little bit. Creating little scrambles. Better. you got to create scrambles if you want to get out of positions like that. Jacob but Volkman winning here tonight, though. Was that a TKO? That might be his first TKO win. Um, uh, I don't know. It looked like J uh, Jade stepped in. We'll, we'll see what the call is. The, I will say, too, that it's kind of odd that, you know, former UFC guy wearing just completely, like, yep. a, like gray shorts. Yeah, just gray shorts. Nothing fancy. Sure. No uh, sponsorships on them. Didn't come in with guys from the cities. He's using the local Fargo ACA as his corner men. Well, it seems like a lot of uh, classic Volkman going on there. He, you know, gets that takedown, gets on top, control, 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 until he gets the victory. Control and pick, control and pick, yep. Hit, 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 hit. 
They're cleaning up the, the mess that is Danny White right now. Mr. Volkman cleaned off already, and we're going to get our official announcement on the fight here in just a moment. I wish I could uh, see in what, uh, what actually cut Danny Ladies White. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your results brought to you by Four Bears Casino Lodge and Coors Light. Winner in round number two, 345 by TK.